I had a conversation with Dame Dash recently, right? Yes. And me and him disagree on a fundamental principle. Mm-hmm. I don't think everybody's built to be an entrepreneur. He no. thinks everybody is. Yeah. So no. we butted heads on that. Yeah. But here's what's something that I, I, I think we all can agree on. Yes. When you are the entrepreneur, the HNIC, the buck stops with you, mm-hmm. you are always looking for somebody to step up because yeah. heavy is the head that wears the crown. Yeah. And in your case, I see now Romeo has yeah. stepped up. Yes. He's taken that family name. He's yeah. taken all of the, 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 the work that you put in to the next level yeah. and into the future. Can you speak on um, the importance of people stepping up, even if you're not going, even if you have no aspirations to run the, the company one day, but yeah. how important that number two person is. Yeah, well that number two person is so important. That's the only way to build a generational will. That's how you keep it going. And I don't think that every person is made to be an entrepreneur. Um, you have to be committed. You have to be passionate about what you believe in. Um, you have to be trustworthy because being an entrepreneur, that means you're going to make sure everybody else eat before you eat. Everybody can't do that. it been plenty of times when I first started my business till when Christmas time came, my kids didn't have none because I had to pay my employees. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't have that mindset. Um, if you're a selfish person, it's hard to be an entrepreneur because you have to run the business, the brand. And uh, I take my hat off to the, to the real entrepreneurs out there because you're constantly dealing with other people's negativity. Well, what they think, or just the way it should go and being a boss, you're gonna have to make decisions that you're gonna have to live with. And so to have other people and prepare other people to keep your business going is so important. And I'm able, I'm able to sleep good at night knowing that my son mentally is ready, mm-hmm. physically is ready, mm-hmm. uh, spiritually is ready. And uh, he realized the same thing I realized that our whole life is about helping people. But now it's about helping the, the right people. And um, he know it's some people he's gonna have to cut off in his business, whether it's family or friends, it's not personal when you're an entrepreneur in this business. Um, and doing the right thing is so important. And um, showing that love to others, but not letting others take advantage of you. So we, we, we are prepared to build, build a generational wealth. And my other kids, are coming right behind them. So uh, when you talk about us as a family, we're doing something, what they've been doing for years, being able to hand down business to our descendants. And that's the game changer. But you have to educate the whole team, the whole family. And uh, the ones that are unappreciative, you got to cut them off because they can't. You can't let one bad apple spoil a whole bunch. And uh, I think when you have God and you put God first, so we put God in everything we do. We put him in our business first, let God help us with this, that we bring the right people in our business. We hire the right people. Um, we make the right deals. And I think that's what keeps us going. That's what makes our business a whole. And uh, we appreciate the fans, the people that support our business. And uh, I think that's what life is about, man. It's not just about us. It's about doing what's right. Well, I think, I, th- I think you're absolutely right, number one, right? You, 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 yeah. you spoke about creating generational wealth. Yes. But a lot of times, even with distant family, well, now I wouldn't even call them distant family. You spoke a little bit earlier about family that, that are unappreciative. And yes. they, they, they say, what do you get a guy who has everything. Yeah. You mentioned love, a card. 
but yeah. stepping in and giving hard work, showing that, you know, yeah. I, I, I am capable, I am willing. I'm come to work too. Come to work. Instead of coming with your hand out, come with a hand up. There you go. You know, you go. and then we could we could do this together, so it won't have to be one sided. Where you we think, what about all of us doing our part? That's people that's appreciative. But I, I don't I don't think people understand that people who are in your position, high yeah. level entrepreneur, very successful entrepreneurs, high level executives, they're looking for somebody to step up. They're looking yeah. for somebody to yeah. bring a skill set to the table that can help take this business to the next level. Yes. So people, you know, if you're watching this and you have a cousin or a friend or, or, or somebody in the family who is doing well, instead of going with your hand out, get in where you fit in. Don't be afraid to start at the bottom and work your way up and show I am not here to take. I'm here to give. I yeah. see what you're doing. And if you're going to diversify and you're going to be able to go out there and do all of the other things that you have a passion for doing, your primary business is in good hands. That is the way to get in. Yeah. So my, my thing is, too, what I want to tell you, I don't mind sharing with my family but I'm not going to let people use me. So people got to realize the one thing that we say, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. And our motto is love people and use money. Most people, it's opposite. They use people and love money. And I think that's where the disconnect come from. I mean, if you show that person that's successful love, they're going to show you love back. But if you just only come around to use somebody or when you want something, you're probably not going to get it. And I think any celebrity or any entertainer that's watching this, and this is not something we want to dwell on because this is the past. We're moving forward. We're going to do great business, and we're going to grow from this. And sometimes you got to go through something uncomfortable just to be able to grow and change and get better and, and heal as a family. I think this is going to heal a bunch of people, you know, knowing that I'm not going to be the same way I used to be there for y'all. You can't just call me all the time and I'm just going to magically make it happen for you no more. You're going to have to start doing something now. Same way I did, because I was living in a worse situation than all of my family members are living in right now. And my thing is, I'm not going to be held accountable for grown people that can do for themselves. I mean, some people in my family are police officers. These people got great minds. They got, and they still expected me to do something for them. I'm like, well, if you guys got great jobs. And I mean, my kids, much as I have, my kids don't mind work. My kids want to go out and find jobs. And I'm like, you don't really have to do that. Like, dude, but, I, but, I, but what I love about it that they want to do something for themselves. And I, that's what I see. That's what makes me help them and get them and make life a little more easier for them because they're willing to work for what they want because they realize that, what are you going to do if I'm not here? And that's my thing. Like, if you put all the pressure on me for you to be successful, what do you do when I'm not here? You know, you don't appreciate what you have till it's gone. And if you never did nothing for yourself, how do you expect to have anything? Think about it. Why I'm not in jail? Why, why I'm not in trouble and all that? Because I decided to do the right thing. That's just it. If you want to sit around and hang out with your friends all day, then guess what? Then, you know, if your friends do something wrong, then you're probably going to be liable for it. That's just how life goes. When you're doing what's right, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about, and like, my, my thing is now, man, let me tell you what's so great. When the police pull me over, I don't even have to license and registration. Here it is right here, sir. And I go on about my business. That's because I'm doing the right thing. So anybody watching this, when you do the right thing, blessings are going to come to you. And you don't have to worry about nobody else or what somebody doing for you or they not doing, especially if you're a grown person. So let's go back on to the love part and say, 
if we love each other, all the rest of it. Me and you talked about it earlier. This life is temporary. They got so many things going on. You got COVID-19. You got uh, police brutality. You got people dying in the streets. You got, I mean, it ain't even about money no more. So I think people put the, too much value in a dollar instead of time. We talked about this earlier because well, you can't get time back. You get money back. So once you spend that time on loving somebody and see what you get, even loving yourself. Most people hate themselves. It's self-hate. How could you love somebody else when you already got so much self-hate in you? So everybody looking for somebody to make them happy. But the Bible says you truly have to make yourself happy. Before we close this out, I got two more questions for you. Yes. First one, you know, we went through this at Bad Boy. You went through it at No Limit. And I think for anybody who is watching this, especially coming from the environments we come from, you have yeah. this sense of loyalty. And in some cases, it's an over sense of loyalty. Now, yeah. in our case, we had artists after artists after artists yeah. leave the label. Yeah. You had artists after artists after artists leave the label. Yeah. Can you just speak to the fact that Sometimes you have this false sense of loyalty because everybody who comes with you, they're not meant to be there the whole ride. They're not meant to get to the finish line, whatever your finish line, because sometimes you might pivot. Well, let or me tell you. take you in a different direction. Yeah, so let me, let me tell you this. Everybody has a season. Everybody is not there for the long haul because their mindset is not there. So think about it. All the people that left my label, they end up going to other labels. What happened? Why are they only talking about what they done when they was with me? This 20, 30 years ago, people are still talking about what they done with No Limit. I'm not talking about what I done with No Limit. That is <laughs> over. That I'm moved on to something else. That's why I got product. Product do not talk back. Product do not talk back. I don't need I don't need to worry about what somebody doing with their money or their bread or what they don't have. When I sell this product, I can move on. It's business. I got into this game for business. I didn't get into in, in the friends that I tried to create and cherish. I realized in the end, it was all about a dollar. And that's the sad part about it. And I and I allowed them to move, move on. What's different from me, I don't know if Puffy did this, but I tore up people contracts when it's time to leave. I didn't get no money for them. I didn't, I, I, that's just the type of boss I am. I don't want, if you, if we can't have a relationship, I don't want to be in business with you. I have to have a good relationship with you for us to do good business. And so I let people move on. And I also use No Limit as a university. The ones that graduated and move on, we have a healthy relationship after our business and we still could pick up the phone. I still could pick up the phone call Snoop. I could still pick up the phone call certain people, but other people I can't because they wanted to do something that made no sense and I allowed them to do it. I told their contracts up and however it worked out, people only still talk about when it was with me. You go look at a bunch of artists that left the label that went signed to different labels, did their own labels and why are we still talking about No Limit? What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.